Hello, I'm Sid Lowe. I'm joined by Fernando Torres for the official launch of Nike's new boot, the Total 90 Laser Free. Fernando, you've been wearing the Total 90 for five years now. You must be very comfortable with the boot. Yeah, of course. Always is uh, nice to see the, the new model and see how it's improving the, the boot. Every time Nike bring out a new boot, they, they push the boundaries back, they, they innovate. You must be quite conscious of the fact that every time you get a new boot, it's that little bit better than the last one. Yeah, always is... Uh being honest, always it's difficult to, to change the boot because you are uh, really comfy with the, the boot you are using, especially if, if you are scoring goals, and you have to change uh, every every season, every two seasons. So uh, you start to training with the new boots and you can see the difference, you can see the, the feelings that you have in the training and you can see it's much better, more comfortable, it's uh, easier to, to do uh, everything, so uh, exciting to, to play the first game with them. This boot has a number of specific features, for example the fins on the side which give you more swerve, you've got these pods on the top that give you more power. You really notice those kind of differences with the boots, those kind of innovations, that makes a difference to the way you play. Yeah, normally the player always is uh, accepted to, to, to try this kind of thing because you uh, normally think that are not working like mm. uh, the people say, but you can prove and you can test that it's working and it's uh, really different to shoot with the laces aside with the the fins is uh, normally I always touch the ball with them uh, in step and I can see the difference especially in the accuracy in the in the box so uh, I told you before I'm really happy with that, that boot I want to play the first game with that and try to, to score my first goal of course how many times have you had the chance to, to wear the boot so far I imagine you're, you're training in this boot already are you yeah the last month I was training with the boot and uh, uh, testing not just the boot, uh, the studs as well. And you know, here in England, we have to play with the big studs because it's, uh, the pitch is normally wet, and everything is perfect. Uh, it's the, the first time, or one of the first time that from the first training until the last one, mm -hmm. I have no problem with the boot. I have uh, you normally have maybe problems because it's too high or or the studs are a little bit on the right or on the left, but not in this case. So. It's no problem at all. Well, training is one thing, obviously. Another thing is the game. When's going to be the first time you're, we're going to see you in these boots, actually in a match situation? Yeah, hopefully in the weekend, uh, Super Sunday against Arsenal. So if I can play, if I'm 100% uh, and ready to, to play and the boss decide that I can play in the first 11, will be the first time playing with this boot. The best thing about this boot is that, obviously, you normally you open a box and there's a pair of boots in there. You open the box for this boot, and it's not just a pair of boots in there, there's coaches in there, there's an entire training programme in there. This is set up for the Nike Football Plus programme, which obviously gives you the chance to, to learn from coaches, to learn from uh, the, the, the programme that's been put on the net. So you, you really do learn to, to, to learn specific skills. And what I wanted to do is talk to you a little bit about those specific skills, about that training programme. But first of all, let's have a look at the video and see what that programme is all about. Ciao, sono Ciro Ferrara. Benvenuto al programma Master Accuracy della Juventus. Allenati con noi ed impara l'arte del tiro e del gol. Il programma è stato realizzato in modo da renderti assolutamente preciso nelle situazioni di gioco. Sia che tu debba tirare di prima intenzione che dopo un dribbling o ancora improvvisare un perfetto tiro al volo. Il programma Master Accuracy è stato creato da due degli assistenti allenatori della Juventus, l'allenatore in seconda Massimiliano Maddaloni e l'assistente tecnico Adolfo Sormani. In quattro settimane ti daremo gli strumenti necessari per sviluppare una precisione assoluta, in puro stile Juventus. Diamoci dentro. The key about this boot is that you can use the, the, the code from the boot to go online to, to download these, these football training programs for specialist um, coaches, particularly as we've seen the, the coaches from Juventus, Ciro Ferrara, to go through the kind of skills that professionals like yourself can, can show uh, some of the football fans out there so that they can learn, in particular in this case, the Master Accuracy programme, so they can learn to be more accurate with their shooting. And it also involves two other things, one of which is the Fernando Torres Challenge, which we'll talk about later on. And the other thing, of course, the, the Fernando Torres Signature Move. We'll talk about that in a second. First of all, let's see what Fernando's Signature Move is all about.
thing that really strikes me there is watching you running at people and banging the ball back in, into, the net, into the back of the net all day long. It must have been quite good fun filming that, no? Well, I think uh, we had to spend a lot of time doing, doing that, but... Uh, Did you but, get it right first time, by the way? Uh, not really, <laughs> but almost. No, we had uh, not the, my best day there because uh, it was uh, terrible, the windy, and, but, but it was, I was nine, all the people around uh, was really, really patient with me because I was coming for the training, I was really tired and it was a difficult situation for, for my club in that moment, so, but we, we had to spend a, a good time and we did as, as, as good as you can see because all the, the people uh, involved was uh, really patient as well. When you do a move like that in, in training and, and for a video like that, I wonder if it's, it maybe is different from, from the normal moves that you do, because I imagine that in, in your situation, everything you do is quite natural. But in, in a situation like this, doing a training video, you break it down into small component parts. Is, is, it, is it difficult to see a move in your mind as, as, as a series of steps, or, or is it something that comes naturally? Can you relate to a move done in small, small steps like that? Yeah. It's easier or it's uh, better to to do it in, in a game because you don't have to think what to do. Mm -hmm. It's just the thing that you uh, decide in, in seconds. In the, in the commercial, we I, I knew what I had to do, mm -hmm. but the people who was defending, they knew as well. So they was trying to, to stop the shot, uh, stop the dribbling all the time. But it was funny because uh, sometimes uh, you can do a different things and all of them go to the right and you go to the left. It's not good for the video because we have to spend more time, but sometimes it's, it's nice, but, and the game is easier. For you, how much of your game is instinct and how much of your game is training? Can you really work on a move like that in training and perfect it ready for a match? Yeah, of course. Uh, one of the best things here in England is uh, we have plenty of time to, to train in and improve everything. So normally after uh, the training every day, you're going to stay 10, 20 minutes trying to uh, shoot in on goal or dribbling or try to to, to test the, the boot or yourself, the shoot, the crosses, everything. And you can see uh, if you have to improve something with the boot or just with your own. And it's, it's nice to, to get time to improve. I think uh, when the people buy this boot and can see everything inside the box, not just the boot, uh, every, every movement for the international players or for the uh, coaches, uh, it's nice to, to learn about the professionals. So, when I, I was uh, 10, 11 years old, I couldn't improve uh, with, uh, with the videos or uh, online. And the, the people now, they can't do it, so they have to approach. Well, that's enough of me asking you questions. We've had thousands and thousands of questions from, from people through the Nike Football Facebook site, asking you all sorts of questions about your game, about Liverpool, about Spain. So maybe it's a good idea if we ask them um, to give your questions. The first one comes from uh, Damien Bonnet in France, uh, and he wants to know, when you started playing, how old you were when you first started playing football? Oof, it's a long time ago. I remember when I was more or less four, five years old. Mm -hmm. well, I, have, I have um a brother, he's uh, eight years older than me, and he was a goalkeeper. He was a goalkeeper in the, in the team of our school, and he needed one people shooting him to, to improve. And so you were a practice man? You were. Yeah, because to be honest, I didn't like football when I was a kid because really? yeah, I was playing with everything, no, especially mm -hmm. football, but my brother take me to the park and said, now I start to shoot in me, I have to, to practice. And I start to, to shoot in L, uh, the ball all the time against my, my brother, he was a keeper, and I start to, to feel good and start to, to enjoy with the football. And that was the, the first time I, I played. Does that mean that the first thing we should do when we finish here today is phone your brother up and say thanks to him? All those Liverpool <laughs> fans, all those Spain fans, because no, without true. him there'd be no Fernando Torres. It's true, and after in, uh, when I was six, I started to play with my friends in the school, in, mm -hmm. the, in the local tournament, and I started to, to enjoy a lot and keep playing until today. I don't stop. There's a question as well from Aaron Borsari in, in Italy who says, and he points out something that I think a lot of people have talked about, you seem to have adapted very quickly to English football, given that you came from Spain, you came from La Liga. Why is that? Why, why was it so easy for you to make the step and maybe even be a better player in England than in Spain? Yeah, I think so. I think my, my, uh, the football that I like and uh, my condition is better to adapt to the English football than the, the Spanish. But I think the main, the main thing, or the most important thing, uh, to, to play quick, good, 
is the supporting of the my teammates and the manager and everything involved in the club. Uh, they make too easy my uh, adaptation here. Mm. So I arrive, I just have to think in play football and my teammates are asking me if I need something, helping me on the pitch, outside the pitch. So if you can be happy in the city, in the club, and just thinking in play football is much easier. So it's thanks to my teammates and the, the managers. Here's a question that might anger one or two defenders out there in the Premier League, John Terry perhaps, Amanda Vidic. Um, is it easier in England? Are these defenders easier oh, to beat? No. I think here in England, uh, we, we have the, the probably the best defenders in, in the world. So it's nice to play against this kind of players, with this Ferdinand, Terry, uh, Carvalho. Mm. Uh, it's nice to play against them because you can test if you can play against. But it's very, very difficult and very hard because they are uh, stronger than you, quicker than you, they, are have, they have more experience than you. But it's a, a nice test to, to yourself to see if you can do something right. You've been in England, obviously, for, for a number of years now. Which has been your favourite goal for, for Liverpool since you joined um, the club? Well, it's difficult. I, I remember one against Arsenal, the Champions League uh, quarter final, two seasons ago. For me, it was special because the the crowd, the atmosphere in the in the stands was unbelievable after that goal. And maybe it's not the the more beautiful or, or not the most important because at, uh, after that Arsenal scored, they, they equalised, and it was not uh, a crucial goal. But I was uh, I felt in that moment uh, like flying in Tamfield, scoring in front of the cup, an important goal was uh, the the most important moment for me. We've got another question coming from Facebook and it's from Gupta Semi who asks, is it really true that when you played for Atletico Madrid you had an armband that said you'll never walk alone on the inside when you were playing for Atletico? Yeah, it's true. And why, why did that come about? What happened? Where, what was the story there behind that? There was a long history behind. It's, uh, I have a, a group of friends, the, the friend that I had uh, from always. Mm -hmm. My more close friends from the school, from the, the village. Uh, I always with them. And they... they was thinking about uh, make all of us a, a tattoo, the same tattoo, mm -hmm. uh, and they decide to to make. It's not you'll never walk alone. The in the harmony is we will never walk alone. It's so it's a gesture similar. of friendship. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter when we are. Always we will be together. So I I say to them I cannot uh, do that tattoo because it's a very close to a, <laughs> a Liverpool uh, legend or Liverpool important. You can uh, do it award. now. Well. <laughs> But uh, I said, okay, the, in my birthday, they uh, give me a armband with mm -hmm. that inside, like, uh, okay, you can't do the tattoo yet, mm -hmm. but you can uh, put in your armband and play every weekend. That is the history. Fantastic. We've got a question too from uh, Tommy Oyumkinde, who says, how important has Rafa Benitez been in your improvement? How has he helped you improve your game as a coach? Well, the first thing is, uh, thanks to, to him, I come to Liverpool. Because it's mm -hmm. important that when Rafa called me and asked me if I would like to, to join Liverpool, to come to England, I think it's uh, important uh, the manager call. Maybe if uh, Liverpool had another manager, it's difficult to decide. Mm -hmm. But I knew Liverpool had a um, Spanish manager, a really important manager in the, in the world. Some Spanish players as well will be easier for me to come and arrive and, and be happier. And I think uh, after. When I arrive, uh, he's a, uh, a, this kind of manager is always trying to, to improve the players, always uh, on top of you, uh, don't let you relax in, always trying to, uh, 10 minutes more training, go with the ball against the, the wall and try to pass. Uh, every day he wants to, to do something different to improve the players. So I can't relax. He's every day trying to do something right because he never know he never say to, to the player, Okay, you have done a very good game. Always say no bad. No bad but you have to improve that, that, that. You could have had a trick and always he goes against you and say really bad game. You have to improve defensively, you have to improve the pressure and everything. So I like that because he's uh, pushing me to to get me better player and I have to, to say thank you to him because he's a very important person in my in my career and he will be